Hey Dashcam TV family, it's Dave here, thanks for coming back, thanks for all your continued support. Today I'm going to look at another property. This one is 33 acres and is listed for $40,000 less than the 27 acres. So I'm very interested in getting a closer look at this land. If you watched my last video, you'll know that my inevitable divorce is forcing my hand into selling my house. I would really prefer not to sell. I have a great location, it's a great house. I have some acreage. The neighbors are fantastic. But like I said, my hand is being forced into selling. So life goes on. Whistler is with me again today. Whistler. Whistler, say hi to all your fans. You have a lot of fans on social media, bud. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe buttons so you will see what I buy and build next. As always, there is a link in the description and pinned comment for Amazon. By clicking that link before you make your Amazon purchases greatly helps grow the Dashcam TV family. We would also love for you to join the Dashcam TV family on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Instagram and Twitter at Dashcam TV1 and the Facebook group Dashcam TV, all lowercase, all one word. Okay, I think we're getting closer to the property that's for sale. I'm liking the area so far. Dirt road, farmland, farms. That's a good sign in my books. If you saw the last video, you would know my plan would be to first build a tiny home to live in for the first few years, which would eventually turn into an Airbnb. Then likely build a barn next, with possibly an apartment inside as a future mortgage helper. And then eventually build an actual house. Okay, so this is it. I did talk to the realtor and he said go ahead and just have a look. His phone number was a different area code, so he didn't want to come all the way out here just for me to look at a field. One neighbor there not too far away. Another one over on this other side. He said the field was about 15 acres, so another 15 or 18 acres back into the brush there. Yeah, another neighbor over on this side. But if I were to build on this, I would probably build right back at the back, right near the tree line somewhere. You turn this into a very nice homestead for sure. I like it. Let me know in the comments what you think. So I'm back closer to the back of the property. <clears throat> Whistler's loving running around in this field. I did just have the compass app out. So right there is due south. Which would make this corner back here prime building spot considering solar panel exposure to the south. Yeah, and once you're back this far, you're actually quite a ways away from the neighbors. I like it. A few kilometers down the road, there is this bridge that crosses a river. I believe it's the Madawaska River. When I was on the phone with the real estate agent, he mentioned that you 
you wouldn't be able to build too close to the river. Obviously for environmental protection reasons. But that does make me think you would have water access at the back of that 33 acres without having to pay waterfront property tax. That could be another amazing win. Let me know in the comments what you think of that property. Should I put an offer in? Is that the one? I have to admit, I really liked that one. And I hope you liked this video. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And remember to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Till next time.